When I spent 11 days with one of my friends hunting wolves in the South Madison, I thought this was going to be toot on the horn a few times, call them in, and everything's going to be done. Nope. And you hear them howling one drainage over. You go to the next drainage, right here. and they're like ghosts. Right they're gone. Montana biologists entered last year's wolf hunting season like knowing that it would be a learning experience. Harvest quotas were set, developed to bring Montana's growing wolf population into balance with the habitat, other wildlife, and the values and tolerance of people who live, work, and recreate in Montana. And in the end, even with a season extension, hunting alone fell short of the objective. This year, the Montana Fish, Wildlife, and Parks Commission added trapping as a management tool with specific regulations and a mandatory education program. We have a lot of trappers in Montana, and certainly a lot of them have a tremendous amount of experience and knowledge, but wolf trapping is new. It requires specialized techniques and different equipment. Uh, the state of Idaho actually had trapping last year, and they developed the course that we're using today. And we brought a couple of their instructors over here to Montana to get everybody up to speed on the course. The most important objective is teaching and reinforcing ethics and humane trapping methods. That's the biggest message that students will take from the class. In order to trap wolves, individuals must first obtain a Montana trapper's license and have completed the Montana or Idaho wolf trapping education program. This is Mike Gurnett out among Montana's Fish, Wildlife and Parks.